In order to make a successful product video that actually gets sales on TikTok, it's important to first make sure that you're creating videos on products that people actually want to buy. The best video in the world showcasing a mediocre product that nobody wants it won't get any sale. But on the other hand, a mediocre video showcasing a hot selling product that is in demand right now, well, that'll probably get a ton of sales simply because you've nailed the most important thing, the product. That's why the first step before ever creating any video for TikTok affiliates or TikTok shop is crucial, right? And that first step is identifying a high demand product. So my go-to software to identify products like this is Kala Data. It is great. It really streamlines everything and puts it into a database where it's searchable. It presents the information to you in an easy to understand and easy to read format. It has everything that you're going to need to know to find a hot selling product that's selling right now and doing well in your niche, regardless of what that is, right? To give you an overview, there are several ways that you can utilize this. So if you're into live streaming, right? Well, you can go to the live streaming tab and see what's currently working for live streamers and what they're selling, what types of products and kind of get insight into that, right? If you wanted to do videos, same thing, you can go to the video tab. Now, I personally like the category tab and I'll show you insights into each specific niche here in a second, but you also can if you are sniping another competitor. So for example, if you're doing product research and you happen to notice that there's another seller just launching and they're selling a lot of different products that are doing really well and nobody else has kind of picked up on them yet, you can snipe them very easily and figure out all their best selling products, all their best selling videos, right? That are actually attributing the sales for those specific products by simply typing in their creator name or their handle on TikTok into the creator tab on the search bar, right? So for example, let's say we're sniping Daisy Calabrell. I don't know who this is, but let's just as an example show you. Well, it's going to tell you everything about her and when she's selling, what she's selling, how she's selling all the products that she's specifically selling, right? So it looks like she has several shops, actually. The first one right here is iced coffee with 31 specific products. It's got almost 4.5 thousand sales and over 130 thousand in revenue. Again, you can see Bella All Natural. I don't know if that's like a beauty brand or whatever. Then blends as well, right? You can look at her products that she's actually selling within those shops, right? What's her best selling product? If you want to sort it by revenue, if you want to sort it by items sold or whatever, and gain insight into that. So I'm not going to go too deep into this because I don't use this that frequently, but it is a great tool to actually reverse snipe a competitor. If you want to find more insights on what products that they're selling that, you know, maybe you haven't thought of if you see that they're onto something and you want to kind of emulate their success, right? Now, I personally like to go to the category tab and this is is one of the best places, in my opinion, to start with, especially if you're a beginner, because there's so many different niches here, regardless of whatever your niche is that you want to get into. It's going to show you, obviously, the top selling niches, right? So if you sort it from the top at revenue, you can see that beauty and personal care by far is the top niche over doubling almost every other niche, even the second niche below it. It's pretty much double. Then women's wear and underwear, then health and food supplements, makeup and perfume. You get the picture, right? Now, I typically don't recommend starting in one of these top categories because they are super competitive and by all means like competitiveness and sales is actually a good thing right because it's an indicator of success and a lot of people are competing there because there's a lot of sales to be had right but for most beginners you probably want to go a little bit down the list and start with something a little less competitive that's still getting a lot of sales because in my experience there's going to be a larger opportunity and void there where there's sales but not enough shops and affiliates to compete for those specific sales and you can do a better job Job, right? So whether that's sports and outdoors, phone and electronics, food and beverages, if you want to go to the next tab and see what's there for you as well. So you have fitness supplements, personal care appliances is always a good one. Kitchenware is a solid one. It's also really easy to make videos on kitchenware because it's really easy to demonstrate these things in action and get a lot of B-roll speaking from experience. But let's go back to sports and outdoors. That's always a good one. And we'll click into that niche, right? So not only will it sort the niches showing you which one to actually potentially hop into and which ones are the best opportunities, but let's Let's say you already know your niche, right? Well, you go to that specific category and you can scroll down and see the top selling products within that niche and all the data there as well, right? So what's the top revenue? I see these steppers all over the place have for months now. Almost everybody sells these. So there's a reason, obviously the revenue is absolutely crushing. There's a decent margin to be had because you can upsell them, even though you could probably source them for like 15 bucks. And they're selling like hotcakes with a ton of other sellers actually making videos, selling these both from my personal experience, from 
from live streams. I see them all the time in live streams, but also you can see the specific videos that are selling these products. And that's absolutely crucial, right? So if you click into the actual product right here, again, I wouldn't recommend selling this. I'm just showing you an overview of what you can actually see and all the insight that this is going to provide you. There's no secrets here, guys. Like this is exactly what I do to find hot products, right? So if I wanted to look deeper into this product, right, what I would essentially do is you can see that the revenue is over 300,000. There's a ton of items sold. You can also see the conversion rate here for this specific product, which is obviously a good indicator. Uh, the higher the conversion rate, typically speaking, the easier it's going to be to make a video that actually gets sales. Now that is only one variable. There's several other variables as well. You also want to look at the competition between other creators, right? So what I like to look at, is there one creator or just a few creators that are absolutely crushing this for whatever reason? Sometimes they can have their own brand and their own branded product with that specific product, or oftentimes maybe they just had a few viral videos. And so you want to kind of check this out. What you want to look for is a bunch of different creators making a good amount of money in this, right? So in the last seven days right here, you can see that there's a ton of actual creators making good money with this. Although this is really competitive because you have a lot of actual creators making videos on this, right? And so you want to find the sweet spot where you have a product that's getting a lot of sales, but there aren't that many creators making videos on it. And a lot of the top creators are all doing not equal, but they're all doing somewhat well, right? What you don't want to see is one creator or two creators absolutely crushing and then everybody else struggling because typically speaking, you can assume that you're going to be one of those other struggling creators, right? You want to see it a little bit more evenly dispersed. Now, obviously this one is, but this product is super competitive. Wouldn't recommend it. Now, one other thing that I definitely recommend that you do is pay attention to when those sales came, right? This is crucial. When I get on a consulting call with somebody and they're like, Hey, Brian, like I did X, Y, and Z. I followed your method, but like, I'm still not getting sales. Almost always in that situation, it has to do with a high frequency of picking a lot of products where the sales kind of have dropped off, even though the product looks like it has a lot of sales, right? And so extrapolate the data, right? Look at the last 30 days, look at the last 90 days, look at the last 180 days and extrapolate it out. What you do not want to see is a trend where it starts high and then goes low and drops off because that's going to indicate that while yes, there was a lot of sales there, the demand is going down and down and down. Maybe it's more competitive. Maybe it's a trending product. Maybe it's played out on TikTok and you've kind of exhausted the buyer base there. So check all those things. I like to go 30 days, 90 days and 180 just to get an overall picture of the actual market for that product and the trend line to see if it is still selling. Now, if you extrapolate, this is pretty consistent in my opinion. It's doing, you know, what is it like 20, 30, $40,000 in revenue almost every single day for a while now with one major spike. If you extrapolate it over the last 180 days, again, pretty consistent with a little bit of ups and downs, but nothing crazy where it like spikes up or spikes down a lot, right? So overall, not a terrible product, but it is probably a little competitive. But let's go back and pick something a little lower down the list. So if you go back to sports and outdoors, we go to more products to see a little bit further. I always recommend at least going to the second or third page, right? Because typically speaking, everybody that hops on a software like this is going to mostly pick the first few products, like the first page of products. So don't be one of those people because then you know that everybody else with your strategy, essentially, that's drop shipping products or also potentially doing TikTok affiliates is looking at those products. So go one layer deeper, at least, okay, potentially a few layers deeper or a few niches deeper as well. But just to get you thinking that can obviously help. Now there's a lot of actual clothing here, which I'm not interested in selling clothing. So let's go a little further down here. So this right here, Fit Beast, funny hand grip, not terrible. This flashlight right here, again, not terrible. Outdoor portable working lights. So let's click the hand grip strengthener and check this out. Now, this doesn't look like a bad product off the bat because it's selling relatively cheap, right? So I can probably mark the price up here for 12, 15, potentially 19.99 and sell it. Because again, remember on TikTok, while price does matter, right? In the overall market and grand scheme of things, you're not competing on price, right? It's not like you're hopping on eBay and you're seeing a bunch of different products that are all the same with the prices right there. It's not like you're hopping on Amazon where all the sellers are competing for that buy box button that's add to cart or buy now. And so price is a major factor. Yes, it is a factor, but on TikTok specifically, when you're doing TikTok shop, you're not competing on price solely because you are selling directly to customers and directly to viewers with your video, right? It's a different approach. And so price matters, but is not the be all end all. And so typically speaking, you're not solely competing on price. Obviously, if you're 
you're doing affiliates, the price isn't going to matter to you because the commission is going to be higher or lower depending on that price. And you don't set that price, right? So you don't need to worry about that with affiliates. Now to go a little bit deeper in the last seven days, this has almost $20,000 in revenue. Again, let's look at the trend line here. If we extrapolate it out. Okay. So in the beginning of May, it wasn't really doing that well. And then recently it started to do a little bit well. So that is kind of a red flag because for about a month, it wasn't doing too, too well. And now all of a sudden somebody's selling it decently. If we extrapolate it on the last 90 days again. So this isn't, in my opinion, one of the best products because for the last month or so, and even before that, you see two major spikes here of sales and the rest of it's kind of low at like $200 a day. So not something I'd really particularly be interested in. And you know, realistically, the two top people here are selling it with only, you know, a few other people making into the thousands. Everybody else is making hundreds of dollars. So that's an example of a product I probably steer clear from. Let's go back to page two. So the squat machine right here, let's check out this one. Let's pick a different one. Lifting straps. I see these all over the place. Again, super competitive, but we'll look at the chart just to show you. So the squat machine here. So again, let's look at the trend line. In the last seven days here, it's done well over $200,000 in revenue with a lot of items sold. But again, let's extrapolate that. So 30 days out right here. That's pretty consistent. I like to see that, right? 23,000 a day, a lot there. The price is relatively high. So that can build in a little bit of margin for us. We can assume there also with that margin comes a higher potential profit, right? Because 20% of $10 is $2, right? 20% of a hundred bucks is $20. And so every sale you'll be making more money, even if your margin is the same. So something to keep in mind as well, which is typically why I like to sell not high price products, but high your price products products, not that five, 10, $15 price point. I like to go for the 20 to like 50 range ideally, but this can also work if you can figure out how to sell this well. So let's extrapolate to 90 days. And again, pretty consistent it does go up and down, but you can see that for a while in the past three months, it's been, you know, pretty consistent. So I like this product, but let's check to see that there's not one specific creator or two specific creators crushing and everybody else struggling. Yeah. There's one crushing. Yeah. There's two crushing, but you can also see that a lot of people are crushing this product. Like even if you go down to the 10th, seller $26,000 in revenue here in the last 90 days. And you have a bunch of people earning almost 200,000 here. Even if we go to like page three, which is really low again, even people making thousands on page three. So there's a lot of opportunity with this product. I probably look a little bit more in depth on this one. Now for this one, just to give you one more example in the last seven days, these lifting straps have done 21,000. If we extrapolate it to 30, okay. It's somewhat consistent. If we look at 90 days again, pretty consistent with it, even going slightly down but still pretty consistent last 180 days. Okay. The trend line's going down and that's probably indicative of the fact that a lot of people are selling these now. And it's probably getting a little played out. Cause I see this all over TikTok, right? And so if I'm on TikTok, I'm a potential buyer for this. I'm only going to buy this product once, right? And then I'm not really a buyer for it anymore. And so that's probably just knowing how much I've seen this over the past 90 days to, you know, 120 days, these are probably getting played out. So this probably isn't the best product, but again, you wouldn't know that unless you see it all the time, like I have, right. And tons of other other creators obviously doing well with this, hence why a lot of people do it. The margins are great. They're relatively cheap, but this wouldn't be something that I would do just based on experience. Okay. So now we found one that looks promising with a decent margin where a lot of creators are actually doing well with it. The trend line speaks, right? It's not just having like a spike in sales recently. It's been doing it for a while and it's still selling consistently, right? So what will we do here? Well, if you're selling with TikTok shop, obviously you need to reverse engineer the supplier of this and figure out where to actually get this from or something very very similar so that you could also sell it and list it on your TikTok shop, right? If you're doing affiliates, like I do a lot now, then this is really easy because you can just list this to your product showcase and then start making videos because other people are doing all the logistics, all the shipping, all the customer service. And you can just focus on making videos, whether you want to live stream or make the specific videos and upload them to your page. But again, guys, there's no secrets. This is exactly what I do. I look at the data. I don't guess. I don't make videos on what I think is cool for the niche. I look at what's working right now. And a little caveat here too, is a lot of people hear that and they're like, oh, I'm just going to hop on Kala data and I'll find a hot selling product, make videos and I'll be a millionaire. And obviously this gives you a higher, a much, much higher likelihood of succeeding with this, right? But it's still trial and error at the end of the day, right? You still need to test some products. You still need to improve your videos and make good videos. And ultimately, if you improve all of those and you combine all those variables, you will see success, right? A better hot selling product gives you a higher likelihood to sell. If you improve your videos, obviously, See your videos will then attract more viewers and convert a lot more people with your videos. And if you do that consistently and try a bunch of different products, right? Not just one. So at least 
five to 10 before you chalk it up to like, okay, I need to try something else. Something's not right. Something's not working here. Do that consistently. And over time, I promise you, you will find a level of success with this. It's all about just trial and error with proven products and improving your videos. It's that simple. But again, Kala Data is my go-to for this. It really makes all the information easy to read, easy to sort through for whatever your niche is. No secrets, just data, and just putting in the work consistently, and you'll get there.